No, HDMI type, type blah, 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 blah. Hey guys, what's up? It's Matt with 86, and today I'm taking a look at a Desk Labs portable monitor. It was actually sent to me by Desk Labs, and they asked for opinions, so I've given them written opinions as well as I'm making this video to share with you because, hey, double whammy, right? This is a super slim portable monitor that has the capability of being used by only one cable. If your laptop or computer supports USB Type C video and power delivery out, that's the only cable you'll need. The variant I'm looking at is a 1080p one. There is a 4K one also. It is an IPS panel with 20 millisecond response time from gray to gray. And while that seems a little bit high considering everything that the monitor is it makes sense it also has built-in speakers but I'm gonna tell you right now you'll probably prefer the speakers or your stock speakers in whatever laptop you're using because they're not phenomenal and you shouldn't be buying this for the speakers Now it is a touch screen and super responsive touch screen at that. I find that quite useful. It's also great for like my eldest child who does a little bit of drawing art in a program called Krita or Krita. I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, but she's able to take her pen and draw on it without damaging the monitor. So that's good. At its thickness, it's a little bit over six millimeters thick. If that tells you about how thin it is, and I'll try to show you some good shots so that you can see this for yourself. One thing I will say is the monitor doesn't actually come with a stand. They sent a stand with it so I could use it and show it. And I'm going to recommend that because there's probably not third party companies Companies making a stand for the monitor yet that you you consider getting this also if you do decide on this monitor you're gonna want it it, it acts as a cover and it acts as a, as a monitor stand and that's great otherwise there's no real easy way to prop it up it is a very solid metal construction all throughout the entire monitor and it's fantastic there's two rubber feet on the bottom so if you do do that monitor stand I keep saying doo-doo and it's gonna make me laugh in a minute so that if you do use it as a if you prop it if you make it if you do do a monitor stand out, I got nothing, man, I can't do it. Can't do do it. If you do prop it up to be used as a monitor, the two rubber feet hold very well. See, I did it, got it right there, nailed it. On the right hand side of the monitor is a micro USB followed by two USB type C's, both capable of video and power delivery to the monitor itself, as well as a micro HDMI. Included in the box is a micro HDMI cable that can go to a standard type A HDMI cable to your laptop so that you can display out and either extend your monitor or mirror your monitor or whatever you wanna do with it. On the left hand side is a 3.5 millimeter auxiliary input so that you can put some speakers or headphones that can plug into that into there. A rocker wheel for the menu selection, which is okay. I, I don't like how far you have to depress, just so you guys know depression into that you got to go you got to push in pretty hard in order for it to actuate and take your selection which means you might end up pushing the monitor across the table I, I wish that was a little firmer less less depth to go into the monitor in order to depress it but hey it's super easy to use and pretty intuitive and you also have the power button on the side now the bezel all the way around the monitor is super slim super thin and it looks nice it's a very professional looking monitor and I like it I find that it's most useful in applications for when I'm on the go with the laptop that you can't see behind me right now but when I'm on the go editing workflow for either the the podcast I work on as a, as a side job or I'm doing my own video somewhere I'm able to set up and have my dual monitor set up which if you haven't noticed that's what I use I'm very accustomed to it I like it that's what I'm used to it's nice to be able to kind of be portable with that same feeling setup makes life a lot easier one of the other great things too is using it as an external monitor for a camera while the touch feature doesn't work it's nice to have a nice big display to look at which is pretty useful the monitor is super lightweight weighing in about 730 to 735 grams when you add the magnetic cover though it goes up to about a kilogram now touching back on the panel a little bit it's somewhat on the dimmer side of panels the typical brightness on the laptop I use is about 300 nits and this is not quite as bright as that but it's perfectly fine for me and everything I'm doing maybe a little bit brighter would be a little bit better but I'm okay with the brightness it is I don't have any qualms with it in all fairness it's not the brightest panel I've ever seen it does have the capability to reproduce an HDR effect so it's not a thousand nits brightness kind of HDR but the HDR effect is able to be had here. If you enable HDR in Windows and go watch some HDR video footage, you'll notice that you're getting a pretty decent looking uh, representation of high dynamic range. And while we're talking about a few of these things, we're going to pause right here and look at a black crush test. Now in a black crush test, I always take a super overexposed shot so that you can see what box I can see because in a black crush test, you're only going to see it as well as your own monitor is going to let you see it. And now that we've done that, we're going to take a look at the ghosting effect via the good old fashioned UFO test. Some of you may be wondering what gaming is like on it. I have no problems with gaming on it. I've been running Cyberpunk 2077 in some downtime when I'm on the go with it, and that's been a blast. 
As far as being an artist, I am not. Uh, but people that use illustration software programs, I'd be really interested to know how you feel about something like this. Is a touchscreen LCD monitor that doesn't have a glass digitizer cover on it, is that something that's acceptable as an illustrative artist in the community? I, I asked one I knew and they seemed indifferent. Doesn't really matter. So I'm just curious in what you think. If you'll let me know down below, I'm just curious. If you guys have any questions about this monitor, be sure and leave a comment down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. I do have a great day night, whatever it is. Thank you.